What's up, Taurus, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered Queens, and today I will be channeling the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to a versus message for the 17th through the 23rd. Yeah, please keep in mind that the time frame is only for me. So whenever you see this message, that's where you are meant to see it. These messages are timeless. They can be past, present, or future. Also, if this does not resonate with you, please feel free to check out your other placements. If you're interested in a personal message, that information is in the description box below. All right now, I'm just getting the personal energy from you and your person thank you thank you spirit all right we got attraction and spring here all right you're needing to understand that everything's going to happen in divine timing here you could be dealing with an aries here or you could have aries in your chart definitely somebody that you got a passionate relationship with here all right Thank you, Spirit, for clearing precise messages. Um, freedom, leap, Uranus, opportunities. This is basically the full card. So some sort of new beginning that you're wanting to have with someone here after some sort of confusion here. This could be for your divine partner. It could be divine masculine or divine feminine here. There was some sort of confusion going on that you weren't. It's like something became illuminated to either you or your person here. And someone really regrets the actions that they took. I'm also getting that somebody regrets um not being as open as uh as open as the other party would have liked in regards to how they express their self in regards to love because i'm getting someone that's kind of maybe cold or closed off for some of you um and it's not like in a rigid way it's more so like a um you just really never know what's on this person's mind when they are, uh, when y'all are together. It's like if you want, you are a very vocal person and you express like what you want in this relationship and shit like that. And this person isn't really doing that, really matching your energy here. All right. It says under pressure. I'm under a lot of pressure. Please be um, understanding. Um, target. I'm strategizing to win. I won't miss my target this time. Okay. So this person is. Um, it's like they're dealing with a lot of things from their past and how they express themselves, but they do care about you deeply. Look at that hot and cold, right? Isn't that what I was just saying? That's that energy. All right, let's see. And I just saw cricket. Some of you could have stopped talking to this person for some time here. All right. All right, we got on the table, offer proposal, single, current accept. Yeah, see, this could be your twin flame for a lot of you. This could also be someone that you've known for a very long time with children here and family or someone that you have a child with here. Somebody is definitely wanting to make an offer here because you are you guys are not in a monogamous relationship or something like that during this time. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. Thank you. Somebody. Okay. Wrong way. The direction that you were moving in was the wrong way. Make a U-turn and miss in peace. Yeah, something was found out here. Something, someone was confused about something and they realized something here. I'm I, and I, I'm I'm getting my mixed energy if it's negative or positive, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, so we got your person's energy copycat. Someone is mimicking everything you do. Irreconcilable differences. Divorce. Final. Finish. I'm sorry, not finished. There's still unfinished business. It's not over until I say it's over. So somebody. First of all, they being real petty. Anything that you do, they own that shit. They're doing the same thing. And not to say, like, it's like, <laughs> I I don't even have an example for y'all right now. But this person is definitely being very childish right now for a lot of you. Um, You could have broken up and this person is basically on some let me see my kids. Like, what you doing? 
I'm also getting like um, if they're dating somebody new, they still want to be with you. This person, they're looking for, for you and the next person. So it's a person that maybe even uh, resembles you or some shit like that. All right. All right. Intent for Taurus's person here, Spirit. Thank you. All right, we have the Justice card, Libra energy, Aries, the Tower energy in the reverse here, and the King of Swords, Taurus, a Gemini energy. It's like they feel like you saying kind of fuck them right now. It's like they missing everything that you do. Um, this person feels like you kind of, um, how can I say this? You kind of, um, I don't know. You could be distracted from this connection or you could feel like this person is at this time here. But it's like this person feels like they don't have a choice if they want a new beginning with you at this time. And that, that's really fucking with them. You could be dealing with the Aries, Aquarius here. All right. Yeah, this person, it's like they're getting their just desserts. Whatever is happening is what's supposed to happen here. It's like this is um, your spiritual justice here for some sort of situation. I feel like you were very clear in what you expected and what you wanted from this person. So moving forward, you kind of treating them accordingly here. And this person, um, a lot of things are coming out. And this person just being real chaotic right now, you know. It's like they felt like you were never going to stop dealing with them. They felt like you was never going to leave. And I feel like you were really clear, like, no, I'm not dealing with this shit. Rumors, there are rumors being spread. Pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode, risk, take the risk or lose the chance. That's the question. So a lot of you are not really um, sure what you want to do at this time. You're kind of going back and forth with yourself, like if you want to be with this person or not. But you guys definitely had some sort of big blow up about whatever you heard or whatever you found out that was going on with this person. Um, a lot of you feel like you don't want to be, um, you don't want to be a fool for this person. You kind of saying, you know, you could be missing everything that this person does and this person in general, but you're like, I can't continue to fucking deal with this shit. All right. You could be dealing with the Leo Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio here. Yeah. I feel like you're very vocal about how this person hurt you here and about being unhappy in this situation here. But some of you are feeling kind of lonely now. The fact that you guys are moving forward in this, you could even feel like for some of you, you missed the opportunity, especially if this is your um, child's parent. You feel like you wanted to have something um, more stable with this person by now. You could be dealing with the cancer here. But a lot of you, you know, you're moving towards something that you're able to heal from this situation and complete this cycle with this person some of you are over this shit and you're not looking back to have any type of relationship with this person but for others you're moving towards a place where you can heal from this okay um and you're you're kind of hoping keeping like a door open to hope that this person changes their ways here because you're moving on slowly it's like for them to be able to catch up to you um aries taurus energy here All right, let's see your person's challenge. We got Halloween, something significant about this holiday. So something could have happened um, in the past on Halloween or something could be happening this Halloween. It has Verge about to reveal, confess, children. Children are important to me and it's affecting our connection. So for some of you, this person could have possibly... Um, had a child around Halloween or may have a child... Um, or may have a child coming up this October or something like this. For others, this person is just being um, about to tell you about everything that they did, all of their childish ways here. Give me more about this person's challenge here, Spirit. Thank you. Clear and concise messages, Spirit. Thank you. All right, we got the Four of Cups in the reverse here. The Temperance card, Sagittarius energy, and the Six of Swords, right? Six of Swords, like you moving the fuck on. You're like, I'm not about to keep dealing with this bullshit. Ace of Cups with the Page of Swords. 
Aquarius energy as well as Capricorns. Okay, so now they feel like you don't really care about them like you say that you do and they're like being obsessive over the fact that you've rejected them, you know, which I mean that shit is whatever. You can't keep on doing shit to people and think that everybody gonna keep on fucking taking you back. Okay, because a lot of you are saying no, you're focused on healing here. You know, they're feeling like they're not going to be able to get this relationship back here. They feel like they're not going to be able to get your forgiveness. A lot of you have kind of moved away from this situation and you're being very stubborn in regards to taking this person back or even talking to this person because you're tired of this shit. You're tired of this person continuously um, making promises and breaking them. So you disappeared on their ass. What's the challenge for you? Sexual fantasy, someone has been having sexual fantasies about you. Escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure, unrequited. Loving you is the most painful thing I've ever done, right? That's the challenge. This person is continuously hurting you and you feeling some type of way about it. You like, why the fuck do I have to keep dealing with this shit? And this person could be um, energetically calling you. So a lot of you could be having sexual dreams about this person or daydreams about this person because this person is, is doing this shit. Because this is this is a uh, significant connection here. So you guys do have that tie. Give me more about the challenge here for Taurus. Thank you. This person could want to travel away with you. Some of you are like trying to be in your own little world as you heal from this shit. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of um, Pentacles here. Yeah. Two, sword, two of Swords and a Nine of Swords. A lot of you are just really staying up late at night trying to figure out exactly what you want to do with this. You know, you're going back and forth with yourself because you kind of want your relate. You don't want to put in all this time in a situation and don't work, right? But you also feel like you don't want to keep looking fucking stupid either. Like, so a lot of you are really trying to figure out if you want to rebuild this or if you want to cut them off. Like, what exactly do you want to do? Like, where do you see yourself moving forward? Because at the end of the day, you want peace. You're tired of motherfuckers coming to you as a woman or motherfuckers coming to you as a man. You're tired of always having to start over, having um, to allow this person to rebuild trust in them and the, or ha allowing this person to um, the opportunity for you to rebuild trust with you and then for them to continuously break it. Like, that shit is fucking, fucking... Um, torment like i want to say tormented yeah like that shit hard and you don't want to deal with that a lot of you could be sleeping a lot libra energy here as well as virgo with the queen of swords What's the actions your person will be taking? addiction someone could be facing addictions here so that could be drugs sex liquor Roller coaster, highest high adrenaline rush, watching you, watching you on your social media lights up my mood. So yeah, this person is going back like they they hurting themselves, watching you trying to figure out what you're doing. Cause some of you could be out here living your best fucking life, you know. And this person is um feeling a way about it, but it's only because of their own toxicity and negativity. Like you did this to your fucking self. All right, I didn't do this to you. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and see here. Let's see. All right, we got the Ace of Wands here. The Hierophant card, Taurus Energy, and the Star um, Aquarius Energy here. Five of Cups in the reverse with the Two of Cups. Yep, they want to reunite. They regret the decisions that they made. So they are the person that regret the shit. They regret the decisions that they made. They regret fucking up their fu their family. You know, they regret putting someone above you. Um, they are very hurt by this whole situation here. But I can't say if they're going to change or be better. You know, only time can tell. But they are very much hurt. And they're wanting to have some sort of reunion here with you. This person and you have a strong um, sexual connection to. For a lot of you, they do want to heal this connection, be able to move forward here. 
this person could be using sex as intimacy and this is one of their problems you know like to show you that they care about having sex instead of like being able to vocalize that shit all right let's see your actions we got confusion confusion and conflict may be going on at this time negotiator bargaining begging forgiveness i'm willing to forgive you and let go of the past so some of you are going to forgive this person and be willing to move on here after a whole bunch of conversations after um a, a lot of stipulations too like okay well if we're going to do this then this is what you're going to have to do to to make me trust you to be able to move forward but a lot of you don't really know exactly what's going on with this person so make sure he he or she tells you exactly what they did like exactly what's going on don't allow them to just tell you the bare minimum of a situation because i'm getting somebody that only want to tell you a little morsel so, so you don't feel any type of way but when somebody else tell your ass you're gonna be even more pissed okay four of wands three of wands seven of cups yeah Two of Pentacles, yeah. A lot of you, yep, you forgiving this person for their cheating ways, for them juggling you. A lot of you are deaf, but you're you're doing this because you feel like it's best. It's best for your family, it's best for your situation or something like this. Like a lot of you, you're really not doing this from a, a lovey, lovey, dovey uh, part. You're doing this from a, a place of like, it makes sense to do this, you know? Because you feel like this person on top of the fact that they're doing shit outside of your relationship how do you keep learning about this shit is what's fucking with you like you don't have no respect for me and that's one of your problems like you don't have no respect for me to either hide the shit good like the fuck four of wands three of wands seven of cups yeah a lot of you are going to be deciding to move forward and have a stable connection with this person you're going to give this person another chance here you know because you want this relationship to succeed but some of you are also just saying this i feel like y'all are, are 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 trading places with this person you're gonna start having uh somebody on the side of some shit mm. All right, let's see what messages from your person. Messages from Taurus's person. Messages from Taurus's person. Messages from Taurus's person. Thank you, spirit ancestors and spirit guides. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Alright. You are my everything. Ace of Swords. So basically, they're going to tell you that you're their everything. But they're going to definitely come to you in the space of truth. Just make sure they give you all the truth. Don't let them get away with um, shit that... Um, because there's a whole bunch of confusion energy here. So don't let them come back around like and only telling you a part of shit. If your intuition tell you that that's not it, it ain't it. Then we got to hope you away from me. All right, let's see the signs that you guys are dealing with during this time. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you. All right, we got Aquarius here. We got Pisces. And we have Cancer as well as Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I send it back to you guys tenfold. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.